How to use Wave Accounting Wave Accounting Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, welcome back. Today I will show you how you can use Wave for your accounting and booking. So let's get started. First what you have to do is you will simply go to waveapps.com and you will land on this platform right here. Wave is an amazing accounting software that allows you to create your own professional invoices and do accounting and booking. That's what I will show you today that how to sign up for WAVE in WAVE to do accounting and booking. So let's start with the process. To sign up, what you have to do is you will simply add your email address and set up a reasonable password. It is completely free to create an account on WAVE. Now I can also sign up with Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with my Google. Now, I have to complete these two steps in order to get my own dashboard. Tell us about your business. What's your name? Where you have to add your first name? Then last name. What's your business name? You have to add your business name right here. And what does your business do? You will simply select the category you are in. So I have added this information right here. Now I will simply click on next. Wave is a built for US and Canadian businesses. So what happens with Wave is that you need a Zoho Books first. So what you need to do is you simply go ahead and get started with a Zoho Books. If you already have your Zoho Books, then it will be very easy for you to access your Wave. But getting started with Zoho is also really easy. You can simply go ahead and add your company name, email address, password, your country, and then you have to add your address and I agree to terms and services and you will be able to sign up with Soho and then we will be able to create our invoices, online payments, expenses, banking, contacts, reports and much more with our wave within our Zoho books. I have signed into my wave Zoho right here and you can see right here now I am on books.zoho slash wave. So this is how we simply can access our wave and we can do accounting, create invoices with our wave. Wave is an amazing platform with a lot of different features that you can integrate to your Zoho. So let me actually show you that what we're getting. So we have this basic dashboard right here and in here I will be able to check my total receivables total payables and my cash flow right here. This is my basic dashboard and I will be able to get access to all of the different features right here. Then we have items. In items, I can simply go ahead and create a new item. Then we have banking option. Then we have sales and in sales, I have customers, estimates, invoices, payment received, recurring invoices and credit notes. Then we have purchases right here. In purchases, we have vendors, expenses, bills, payment made, and vendor credits. Then we have accountants. In accountants, we have manual journals, bulk update, currency adjustments, chart of accounts, transaction logings. Then we have report option, where I will be able to check the reports of my business right here. And I will be able to check the business overview, sales, and receivables. Let's go to the basic dashboard again. And let me show you how you can simply add a total receivable. Simply click on new and you will be able to create a new invoice, new recurring invoice or create new customer payment. Let's create a new invoice. To create a new invoice, you have to fill in this form and this is our invoice. You will simply select a customer from your list or you can create a new customer as well. Let me show you how you create a new customer. You simply type in their first name. Then we have to add the company name. Then you have to add the customer display name. Then we have to add the customer email, customer phone number, website, and other details are available as well. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and add this information. I can simply add their payment terms as well. Then we can add their language, their Facebook and Twitter too. So there are a lot of different details that we can add when it comes to adding a customer. We can also add their address, custom fields, reporting tags, and remarks. So for now, I have added this information and I'm going to click on save. And a new customer will be created right here on Wave. So when I am creating a new invoice, I will simply select a customer. Let's go with the customer that I just created. 
this is going to be the invoice number then we have the order name then we have the terms and due date in here i will simply add the due date for my invoice then we have this subject and then we have to type in the details let's go ahead and add a new item right here to add a new item what you have to do is simply click right here then you have to select what kind of item it is well it is a service and the name is now you simply have to add the unit then we have the selling price in here i can actually go ahead and change the currency as well then we have the account simply have to select an account you will simply type in the selling price and then you will simply click on save and a new item will be created and now you simply have to add the item in here so i have added the item in here and now the rate is 30 dollars and the amount is going to be 30 dollars again the quantity is one right now but i will change the quantity to five once you click on save your amount will be updated right here which is 150 dollars now and this is the total that they have to pay after that i can simply go ahead and add a customer node for now they say thank you for business but i can simply go ahead and customize it the way i want to then we have terms and conditions if you have a terms and condition file you can simply go ahead and upload it right here then we have want to get paid faster you can simply go ahead and set up a payment gateway as well then we have i have received the payment option and then you, you can simply add an email address in here once you have added all the information then you will be able to create a new invoice and in creating a new invoice i actually showed you how to create a new customer and how to create a new item as well so that is super easy for you to do now you have created your invoice all you have to do is simply click on save and send and your invoice will be sent to the email that you have added now i can simply go ahead and add the email address in here and this is how they will simply receive my invoice super professional and the amount is given right here so they don't have any problem finding out of what they have to pay and they will simply click right here this is how wave allows you to create professional invoices customers and items when it comes to credit notes i can simply go ahead and click right here when it comes to accountant i can simply go ahead and create my manual journals bulk updates currency adjustments and chart of accounts and then we have transaction logging to create a manual journal what you have to do is simply click right here and then you will be able to create a professional new journal where you simply add your date journal reference notes journal type currency and amount right here this is how you simply create a new journal then we have currency adjustments and in here i will be able to make an adjustment to my currencies right here you can select any kind of currency you want to and you can also select different currencies for different clients then we have the report option in here where i will be able to check the reports for my business profit and loss balance sheet cash flow statement sales by customer sales by item then we have receivables as well and this is how you can access all of these different features right here on zohoberg's slash wave and to help you get access to all of these features when it comes to accounting and this is how you can simply do accounting as a beginner with wave so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use wave accounting for your business don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel